what kind of a friend are you guys? Are you good friends? Terrible. I mean, to other people? Or are you like one of those friends that, yeah, I'll get to you. I'll do it later. Very selfish. I'm great. I don't know why my uh, friend can't worst. keep any. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't call any of his friends back, but he's a really good friend. So that's, yeah, that's a great way to be. Are Have you ever been in one of these like kind of threesomes where it's two friends and then another one and you have to kind of psych it out? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm in some groups of friends that are, I'm one of three. I can't, I would love, I'm jealous. I have a lot of friends. I feel, you know, a healthy amount, not, I don't overextend, but like, <laughs> I, I'd rather, you know, I would love a tight, long lasting threesome. I would even love a tight best friend for a long time. I can't, for help. I can't keep it that, you know, I got my wife and that's kind of your it. Your wife's your best friend. That's You're true. that guy. I'm that guy. Well, what I wonder is that if, does a spouse become jealous of that kind of a relationship or do they just realize, well, that's the way it is. I have a lot of friends from growing up, but I'm definitely, I don't know many people that have this experience that like there's a group of us from when we were five years old that are oh. still really tight like you have that i know Crazy. it's it's wild and there's probably like i don't know 10 of us but i'd consider four or five of them like my best wow. friends i talk to them there's a group that i'm on with there's three of us we text all day long every day it's amazing. we've known the girl we've known each other since we were born it's it's weird so i think for my spouse who has a lot he has like his boys from growing up but it's like a normal they talk to each other and then there are periods of time where they don't talk to each other as much i think it's strange for people to see that because it's rare but he's used to it and now they're his friends too so you know everybody's happy it works right yeah adam how does it play some be to play somebody who has arrested development because he really does seem like somebody who wants so badly to still be in that loop yeah i think that's easy and i mean i think seth's traits and places in life and you know are, are pretty easy to identify with at least for me i mean i think a lot of the questions he's asking about marriage although i was never trepidatious of it like he is but i think there are questions most people ask a decade earlier um you know of themselves and of the world and at the same time he's feeling his age uh uh which i am too and i think you know everyone's kind of feeling their age and so um you know, you have impending, you have, you know, newfound middle age and you're still clinging to um, some of your freedom, uh, if you will, from your 20s and uh, and reluctant to give that up and have all the anxiety that comes with that. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of kind of basic in some ways, meat and potato stuff. I, I, yeah, I didn't have to look too hard to to find it. Did you ever feel that you were that in that position where you think, okay, it's time to move on? No, no, I, 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 it's not that I got married young, but I, I didn't get married. I mean, I guess so. I mean, it's, well, no, I mean, it's about the, the, you know, the, the person, but I, I, I did feel like at a time in my life when I was, I don't know, which I think I was just kind of romantic and was like, would I, I probably would have got married five years earlier than yeah. I did had I met her and, you know, um, but uh, no, I, I know I didn't have the same fear of it. I think I think part of me was a romantic and always just assumed that like I would I would meet that person and jump off a cliff with them and whatever happened, you know. And, and I also don't have I don't have and this could be healthy or unhealthy, but I don't have a fear of divorce that some people have a serious one. Some people my parents are still together there's pros and I mean, I, I'm happy they are, but it's not that they're my goal, you know, either, but, but I just didn't have that, like, yeah. but what if we, you know, I'm like, and then we do. Thing. Yep. and then I don't know, but I know that I want to do this and I'll take it as it comes. Yeah. That is the fear of it works. our generation. Lizzie, how is it doing the narration? It was great. Uh, I just finished the final episode last week. Um, I had done the, scratch track but like with the fancy microphone in my apartment while we were shooting because they would use bits of it to play over scenes when they were sh the on set actually shooting so i've done it so many times now and i have to say i'm very sad it's over um wow. it's, it seemed like a mountain of work and i didn't know how it was gonna get done but now that i'm finished saying those words i i genuinely bummed about it 
do you like that kind of work? Is that really that interesting? Or like with this, I wonder if I, you knew too much. You would, your character would know too much about what was going on. No, because she learns as well. You know, she's, it's, it's, it was tricky to wrap my head around at first before we started shooting. Um, just trying to get a handle on, okay, so this is her take on everything that's happened, but it's in, it's in the future from what you're seeing because she's looking back and there is hindsight to this, but she's still learning things along with the audience. And it was just like tying my brain up in like pretzels, but because I had also never seen something like this, like oftentimes a voiceover feels like a lazy way to tell a story, but this is so much her arc as well. And so it just feels like its own thing. I didn't know if it was going to work from what I've seen of the episodes. I feel like it really did. Work. I love, love, love it. Two things. One, love your performance, the voice. It's, it is this show. I mean, it, it's so great. And also I loved the adaptation how much they kept it in because she's a writer yeah. the movie and even the genre feels so novelistic. It's yeah. such a, you know, and she's Archer Sylvan. Like it's such a male writer of the male examining his life in the middle age. It's such a book, it's such a Philip Roth, all those authors. Yeah. And what I love is how literary the show feels because of it. If you took out that voiceover, it wouldn't have that same novel feeling. I agree with and that. Um, yeah, it feels like a book on screen in the best possible way. It works. And so do the white shoes. So make sure you wear the white shoes all the time, Adam, because they really are you. The white shoes. What white shoes? Yes. No, when you're out with the guys and they're all wearing white oh, tennis shoes white because shoes. that's oh, so hip. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. We'll do. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye.